So Trinomi is a consent-based data sharing platform. We connect companies and customers together over secure and trusted framework. And that allows for customers to share more relevant and richer personal data with their company. And we do it in such a way that's also regulatory compliant. Financial institutions benefit in three key ways. Number one, they comply with incoming significant regulations such as PSD2, Payment Services Directive, and GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation. Those fines start as soon as May of next year, sorry, May of 2018, at 4% of global revenue, or 20 million euros per infraction. So these are big, big regulations. Secondly, they can upgrade their technology systems to bring them more in line with a digital engagement and a much more amazing user experience with their customers. And third, they can do it in such a way that they can enrich the data that they're using and make it more of a, a, a data-forward approach with their customers, showing transparency, respect, and care for their customers' data. So it's really a three-way win. I think one of the historical challenges has always been whether or not you are a fintech disruptor or whether you're a big established company. We've never looked at it that way. We really are a platform to support and partner with large established brands. We feel that working together is kind of the key way to secure that future. As a result, we've signed partnerships with several of the world's largest companies, allowing our technologies to be used not just by them, but by their entire network of customers. We feel that that partnership is the strongest approach to move forwards. I mean, I don't think anything is more exciting than data right now. But, um, you know, data's been largely misunderstood. Maybe for a decade, it's all been about how to aggregate more data and centralize it within the company. The problem is a lot of that data is getting old now. It's legacy data, and it's difficult to understand. Also, much of it was anonymized, which means you've lost a lot of the valuable personal information. So today we're seeing a really significant change. And the change is the way you can engage directly with your customer, and the customer can now start to share rich, relevant, and immediate information with you, and that's changing the nature of big data. So instead of being bigger is better, which was content is king, now your customers are sharing it with you over an open, transparent, and permission-based platform, and that means consent is now king. I think the first big one is decentralization. Rather than having everything centralized, we're now seeing many, many systems moving to be decentralized and distributed. That's a much more inclusive approach. It's better for the customer. Secondly, it's about consent. It's about the permissions and the rights around data. Can you use them? And if so, how can you make the experiences better for the customer? But when it comes to security, I think that's relatively well established. We look at it more as trust. So our framework that we deliver is a trust-based data sharing platform. With that trust, you can now enhance the system and have more relevancy and more utility out of the data that's being used.